and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is count distinct elements in every window which is marked as a easy level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given two parameters first one is an array arr of integer type and another one is a k of integer type as well okay and what we have to do so basically we have to tell the count of distinct elements in each each window and the k which we are given in this parameter is the length of the window okay all right let's understand this problem with the the first example so here we can see k is equal to 4 basically means uh, we have to take the 4 4 length window window or you can take tell it as a sub array as well okay so if we will take the first sub array of four length and distinct element basically means suppose uh, let's suppose 1 1 1 3 so how many distinct elements are present there are only two distinct elements that is 1 and 3 okay all right so basically we will count if there are duplicate elements we will take them only once and we have to tell how many distinct elements are present okay so there are two in this way we will be seeing the first sub array let's say The first sub array is one, two, one, three. How many distinct elements are present? Three. One, two, three. One is repeated two times, so we will only take it one only. Okay. So three. Okay. All right. After that, we will take this array. Two, one, three, four. Two, one, three, four. How many distinct elements are present? Four. There is no repeated elements, so four elements are present. Okay. After that, we will take another sub array. One, three, four, two. Again, four elements are present, distinct one. And after that, if we will take this last sub array of three, four, two, three, how many distinct elements are present? Only three distinct elements are present because three is repeated two times, so I will count it only once. Okay, and we have to return this three, four, four, three in an array list, and that will be our answer. I hope the problem statement will be very, very clear to you. And now let's think of the approach which we can take. Okay, all right. So basically, the first thing which comes in my mind is a brute force approach as well. So we will take uh, two for loops nested inside one another. First of all, I will be here and uh, run a loop till k. Okay, and after that, uh, take a set till one two one one two one three and take a set to store all these elements. And what's whatever the length is, whatever the length of one two one three set set is there, that will be my answer for the for that will be my first entry. Okay, again I will take a hash set and pull full and fill two one three four inside it. Okay, what is the high, uh, length of the hash set? Four. Okay, so four will be my next input in the uh, answer array list. Again, I will take one, three, four, two. How many distinct elements are present? Four. So again, four. And after that, three, four, two, three. So what will be the length of this hash set size? Is will be three. So we will get three, four, four, three. Okay. But what will be the time complexity of this approach? Because we are filling the elements from the starting again and again. Like two, one, three, four in the set I will fill. After that, one, three, four, two again I will fill. So Uh, basically the time complexity will be n length of array into k n into k okay all right let's see the constraints as well which we are given so n and k both can be as long as 10 raised to the power 5 so 10 raised to the power 5 into 5 so basically it will be 10 raised to the power 10 and it will give me time limit exceed okay so we have to think of a, a optimized approach okay all right the optimized approach which is coming in my mind is basically we have seen ki like if 1 2 1 3 is filled in a set and then we will take consider another sub array 2 1 3 4 again we are filling it from the starting again we are filling it from the starting so can we reduce that can we utilize the previous set only and add more elements to it yes we can do that okay all right let's see how so basically the issue here is let's suppose first of all i fill 1 2 One, three into my hash set. Okay, all right. After that, I took the count of distinct elements. Distinct elements are three only. Okay, so filled three in my answers list. Now, new element. Next element is four. So we have to fill four. Okay, we have to fill four. Let's say I filled four, and we will remove the k minus arr of i, which is four minus k, which is pointing to one. We will remove one from the set. Okay, we will remove one from the set. So basically, one will be present only once, and we will remove it. But now you will see the issue here is if one is only present once in this set and we have removed it, so this one. But here there is another one. Here there is another one which is also removed because we are using hash set. So 
to optimize this approach we have to move to map so that we can keep the count of each element frequency and we can remove that frequency by one we can decrease that frequency by one instead of removing it okay all right let's see this with approach new approach with a map and it will be very very clear to you okay so first of all first uh, array list is this one two one three one is present twice okay two is present once and three is present also once okay all right and now what i will do this is my map and what i will do i will simply first of all after filling all the k elements k minus one elements like uh, k elements i will check ki what's the size of the map map size is three okay so first input in my answer list will be three after that i come to this four i come to this four the index of this four is what zero one two three four four only okay so what i will do i will have inserted this four into my map as well let's say four is also inserted with frequency one and now i will remove arr of i that is four minus k so here four minus four is zero so zero element will be removed zero element is one so remove one from this map since one is present two times i will decrease its frequency to one okay all right again i will take the size of the map so size of map is what now size of map is four okay so add four to my array list answer array list and again now look let me delete all these things once okay so now i will be moved to this two index whose frequency whose in two element whose frequency is five okay i will add it so two will be now become two times okay all right and now what i have to do i have to remove arr of i minus k remove basically means if the frequency is more than one i will decrease it by one and if the frequency is one only i will remove it from the map okay so two frequency here is arr i minus k is pointing to this two two frequency is two here so i will decrease it to one okay all right we are good at till this point again i will do what i will take the size of the map map size is four okay again i will move to this three now i will move to this three okay so three frequency i will increase by one so three frequency will become two now arr of i minus k i here is zero one two three four five six six minus four that is two so two is this one okay Two index is this one. I will remove it from map. It's only present once, so let's remove it. Now uh, I will do the size of the map. Map size is three only, so I will take three. I will come out of this loop. Means all the elements are iterated, and I will simply return my array list that is three four four three. I hope it is very very clear to you. And now we will see the code as well. Code is pretty simple. I will look. We have to. We should have at least four elements. We should have at least four elements in my map. Uh, four elements. iterated after that we will keep on filling because we have to take four four window na so in the starting if they are, if i have only iterated three elements what should i store in answer no nothing because i sh i should at least iterate k elements okay all right so k elements but look k elements basically means four elements so if i am at three index if i am at three index 0 1 2 3 it means i have iterated four elements okay all right so we will simply do k minus minus so that we don't have to write k minus 1 k minus 1 everywhere instead of that i will simply do k minus minus okay all right so now let's move on to the code section but before that if this approach is clear to you please subscribe the channel and like the video and comment down how was the explanation part and i have made a very cool chrome extension for you as well so let's see that chrome extension Okay hey guys let's see the quick demo of the chrome extension i have built so suppose i am solving this very common interview problem container with most water and i am not able to think of the approach so what i will do we can see this watch tutorial button here which is injected by a chrome extension so i will simply click on this and a modal will open with the popular tutorials for this problem i will i can watch any of them let's suppose i want to watch the first one so we can watch the tutorial here understand the code and the logic but let's suppose i want to watch it on youtube i will simply click on this and i will be redirected to the youtube screen where i can watch the tutorial okay same thing is with geeks for geeks as well so i have injected the watch tutorial button here as well so we can simply click on it and watch the tutorials make sure you give it a try and i'm sure you will definitely like it i hope you will definitely download the chrome extension so now let's move on to the code section first of all what i will do i will simply make a answer array list which we will return so answer array list answer is equal to new array list and after that uh look i will have to make a map as well i'm actually not used to this laptop 
I use my office laptop mostly. So the keyboard is not familiar with. Okay. So new hash map. It's very very simple now. And now what I will do? If you remember, I told I will do k minus minus once so that I don't have to do k. Uh, let's say k minus one, k minus one everywhere. We don't have to use that now. Now I will simply iterate, start a loop from i equal to zero. I is less than a r r dot length i plus plus okay and now first thing which i will do i will simply add this arr of i element to the map okay so mp dot put arr of i and mp dot get or default arr of i comma zero plus one okay so what does this line means this line basically means put mp dot arri into the map and what will be the frequency so if arri is already present into the map increase that frequency by one but if arri is not present in the map so its frequency will be zero and i will add to one to it okay so this is what this mp dot get or default means and after that if you remember i told ki if k elements are not filled into the map we will not do anything okay so if i is less than k we will simply do continue basically means ki keep on adding at least k elements into the map after that we will do something okay all right now when once i will move to the, i will reach to this index 3 3 basically in 3 element and index is also 3 for this k equal to 4 now we we have to do something we have to do something something okay all right so first thing which i will do is basically add this map dot map size mp size into my answer answer dot add mp dot size Okay. After that, what I have to do? I have to remove a r r of i minus k element. Okay. So if look, if m p dot get a r r of i minus k element is equal to one, it means if that frequency of if the frequency of a r r of i minus k is one, what I will do? I will simply remove that element. So m p dot remove a r r of i minus k but if its frequency is more than once so what i i will do if you remember i told you what i will do i will simply decrease the frequency by one so mp dot put a r r of i minus k and mp dot get a r r of i minus k and i will decrease it by one okay so what i'm doing here in this line is basically i'm putting the arr of i minus k into the map again but this time i'm decreasing its frequency by minus 1 okay all right i hope this point is also clear and when i will come out of this loop i will simply return answer at least let's try to compile this and i think it will run so guys the code is very very simple and the explanation i have already explained it too much so i think you all have liked the approach and you will definitely subscribe the channel like the video comment down how was the explanation make sure you download the chrome extension and i am going to see you again tomorrow.